सो द फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ शी हल्क हैज अराइव ऑन डिजनी प्लस एंड द थिंग आई लाइक द मोस्ट अबाउट दैट एपिसोड इज इट्स लेंथ विच इज ओनली थर्टी फाइव मिनट्स बेरेबल एंड कैन बी वॉश्ड इन अ सिंगल सिटिंग सो एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द एपिसोड वी कम टू नो दैट जेनिफर वॉल्टर्स इज एक्चुअली ऑलरेडी अ शी हल्क एंड हर बेस्ट फ्रेंड निकी नोज इट flashback to few months ago where we are shown how she became a hulk jennifer and bruce are traveling in a car and bruce banner can now decide whether to be in his hulk self or bruce banner self by using a new device he has made for himself a car crash takes place because of a spaceship Bruce's blood gets into Jen's system and she turns into a Hulk too. I liked how they just kept the whole transformation thing fast and crisp instead of showing us Jennifer turn into Hulk at the end of the episode. Cut to Bruce's beach house where he tries to help and teach Jennifer how to live with the Hulk persona. This scene in which Bruce puts Jen into a glass box, I just can't imagine what could have happened to Jen if she didn't turn into Hulk at the right time. Then the training starts involving a book worth 15 years of Bruce's life which has the record of how Bruce learned to control and live with his Hulk self implying that it would take same amount of time for Jen but Jen learns to control her Hulk self so quickly just in her third transformation Bruce introduces Jen to her new friend Spandex I liked the whole training montage and I wanted to see more That Hulk versus She-Hulk fight scene was so PG-13 and funny. I still cannot decide whether I liked it or not. We also get to hear a few stories about Bruce and Tony's good time at the beach house with a brief discussion about Captain America's ass and his virginity. Just when Bruce thinks that he could convince Jen to become a superhero and ultimately become an Avenger, Jen declines and chooses her life as an attorney over a superhero life with student loan debts to pay. But I still don't know why Bruce couldn't make the same device he has for Jen too. We were not given a strong reason behind it. cut to present day in a court room where we are introduced to the villain of the series or the season titania who just came out of nowhere and trying to do i don't know what at the court so just when i thought we are about to see a good action scene the fight just ends with just one punch and that's it i hope titania would come out as a strong villain till the end of this season So I liked the first episode of She-Hulk but I was not satisfied with the action scenes. They could have shown some good fights to us like one at the bar and one at the first meeting of She-Hulk and Titania but they just avoided them. I don't know why. Let's see what the second episode brings for us. Let me know whether you liked the first episode of She-Hulk or not in the comments down below. If you like this video let me know by giving it a thumbs up and stay updated of my upcoming videos by subscribing to Style and Punch and following us on Instagram take care and see you in another video